Hello there. In this video, we're going to learn a little bit about the superposition principle for gravity through a simple example here. Right, so in this problem here, I have a planet with a cutout, right? And this cutout, it's on the right end of the planet, and it has, right, it's this spherical cutout with a diameter equal to the radius of our planet, right? And so before the cutout, this planet had some mass capital M, and it was uniformly dense, right? And what I've done is I've put this little point mass M here, and we want to find the gravitational force on little m, right? So how can we find the gravitational force on our little mass M here? Well, we have to think about superposition. What do I mean by that? Let's go ahead and say for a second that this little hollowed cavity here was actually filled in. Let me go ahead and fill that guy in, right? Well, now we're back to a situation where we just have a solid planet. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go in and I'm going to call this red region here A. And then I'm going to go ahead and call this blue region here B, right? And so what would we say if, you know, if we had this fully solid planet here? So first off, what would be the force on our little mass M? Well, now we just have a solid, completely filled in planet, right? Right, in which case the force on our little mass M here is going to be Fg is equal to G big M little m over D squared, right? And just for emphasis, that's if we consider the left here to be the positive x hat direction, right? This is an attractive force. My mass is going to be getting pulled towards the planet. Right, but this gravitational force here, what was this from? This is from the total combined system A plus B, our total system, right? So this is the force of gravity here from this total system, all of these particles here. Now, the law of superposition tells us that we can think of this planet though as these two very distinct regions, right? A and B in which case the gravitational force is just going to be a sum of those two contributions, right? So this is going to be equal to, just very conceptually here, the force of gravity from the particles in the A region plus the force of gravity from the particles in the B region, right? Does that make sense? I'm just taking the contribution of the forces from the two little subregions, and then I'm adding them together to get the total force of the total system. That's all that the principle of superposition says. It allows you to take larger systems of particles, break it down into subsystems of particles, and then add all of those contributions together to build back up your total system. Right, but what am I actually interested in? I'm just interested in finding the force of gravity from the A region, because remember, we took this planet and we hollowed it out. We got rid of that B region. So let's just find the gravitational force from the A particles, and that's gonna be our answer, right? So in other words, let me move FGB to the other side. So I have FGA is going to be equal to GMM over D squared minus FGB right and so to find the force of gravity from b let's go ahead and start by finding the radius of this little subsystem here right so that would be right right here this is going to be r over 2 because our total diameter of this little subsection is capital r and so let's go ahead and start by finding the mass of subsection b right so if we know that our total planet has a mass of m and this is a uniform planet nothing complicated there then let's go ahead and get our mass density by taking this total mass m and dividing by the total volume of this entire planet four thirds pi capital r cubed and now we're going to multiply that mass density by our little subsystem volume here which would be four thirds pi times r over 2 cubed, right? And we're going to get lots of canceling, cancel, 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 right? And we're going to be left with m over 8. So the mass of this little subsection b here would be, right, m over 8. Great, and then what's the distance between the center of this planet and this little mass m here? Oh, right, so this distance here that's going to be this distance little d here, but it's a little bit shorter, minus how much shorter? 
oh right we have this little extra chunk here r over 2 so this is going to be d minus r over 2 is the distance from the center of subsystem b to our little mass m then the force from subsystem b is going to be capital g times what's the mass of subsystem b right it's m over 8 times little m over what's the distance between our center of this planet and our little mass m that's going to be d minus r over 2 squared let me go ahead and write this out i'm going to pull out the like terms so i'm going to have g m m times 1 over d squared minus 1 over 8 times d minus r over 2 squared and there we go that's going to be the force on our little mass from just the a region that if we took this planet here and then we hollowed it out we got rid of the b region that would be the remaining force if you enjoyed this video found it helpful let me know in the comments and consider subscribing to the channel i love to hear about people getting on board but other than that, thank you so, so much for watching.